A minimal amount of fluid remains in physiological state in the pleural space. The pleural space produces 0.2 ml per kilogram fluid per hour. This fluid is produced by filtration via the parietal pleura in the non-dependent regions, that is the costal pleura. This fluid is then drained by via the dependent portions of the pleural cavity, that is the mediastinal and diaphragmatic pleura into the parietal pleural lymphatic system. The parietal pleural lymphatic system drainage is efficient enough to cope with 10 times increase in fluid filtration before effusion develops in the space. Chest x-rays continue to be the go-to tool to evaluate pleural fluid due to their easy availability, access and convenience for follow-up. Ultrasound is also now easily available bedside tool, however the latter does not give as much insight in other abnormalities of the chest like the x-ray does. In a frontal chest radiograph, the costophrenic angles visualized represent the lateral costophrenic angles. The costodiaphragmatic pleural recess extends two more rib interspaces caudally, which is obscured by the diaphragm in a frontal X-ray projection. As a result, up to 200 fluid, 200 ml of fluid accumulating in the pleural space is not initially visualized in a frontal chest X-ray. However, a lateral radiograph will pick up less than 200 ml of fluid. A lateral decubitus radiograph can pick up as low as 50 ml of fluid. When in real doubt, if available, ultrasound is the best to detect minimal fluid. Between 200 to 500 ml, the first sign of fluid appears on, a f on an erect frontal chest x-ray, which is the blunting of the costophrenic angle. As more fluid accumulates, the superior margin of the opacity appears concave towards the lung higher laterally than medially. This is called the meniscus sign. Above and medial to the meniscus, the lung will appear hazy due to fluid anterior and posterior to the lung. Further rise in pleural fluid can result in shift of the mediastinum to the opposite hemithorax. However, large unilateral effusions can also not produce any mediastinal shift. In such cases, Either an obstructive lung collapse or a pleural malignancy needs to be considered. This is a case of mild pleural effusion in both hemithorax with the evident early meniscus sign with blunting of both the costophrenic angles. The domes of the hemidiaphragms are not visualized. In this radiograph, there is a much clearer horizontal depiction of a level. A level is a clear sign of fluid in the thorax. Many a times bedridden patients in hospitals get series of radiographs in the supine posture. In such cases, it is important to review their prior radiographs. Fluid tends to accumulate in the lung apices due to the anatomic small space. Otherwise, apart from a veil-like haziness of the lung, detecting or distinguishing pleural effusion from lung abnormalities is hard. When, whenever suspected, a bedside ultrasound will help give you a definite answer. With this, we complete the session on picking pleural effusion on a chest x-ray. Thank you for listening.